Welcome to my shop. My name is Guy, and today I have a guest in my shop, Mike Fulton from MF Woodshop. Say hello, Mike. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Mike's wife for Christmas bought him a real nice set of card scrapers, and today we're going to go through the sharpening process of those, so stick around. Well, these are the card scrapers that Mike's wife bought him for Christmas. We have some gooseneck scrapers, we've got some profile scrapers, and some flat card scrapers. First thing we're going to do is take a look at how to do a flat card scraper. So what we're going to be using here, we've got a card scraper. We've also got a file and a burnisher. The burnisher helps us draw the edge out and this is harder than the steel that this is here. I've also got this little block and all it is is a piece of wood with a kerf cut in it and that just helps hold the uh, card scraper while we're doing the work. I'm actually going to let Mike do all the work here. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put it in the little holder and then we're going to lock that up in the vise. So why don't you take the file, Mike, and we're just going to go along this edge and try to keep it 90 degrees or perpendicular to the, to the card scraper. And we're just going to make sure that this top edge here is perfectly flat. So just hold it like that and go yep. back and forth? Yep. Now that we have this edge flat, we need to polish it. So why don't, why don't we take it out of the vise. Now we're going to take it over to a diamond plate and we're going to polish this edge. So we've got the card scraper still in a little holder and what we really need to do is, like I said, polish that edge. So let's get some water on the, the diamond plate. Then just take that and move it around on the uh, diamond plate until you've got a nice shine polished edge on that. Perpendicular and straight across? Perpendicular, sideways, doesn't really matter. We'll get the feel of that little block in a little bit. Now that those faces are polished, what we want to do, Mike, is polish these edges up to that edge. So we're going to take this, put it on here. You only need to get maybe a half inch on here. And then you just use this block to keep it flat and just work it back and forth until you polish that edge to the other polished edge we just did. All right, I'm going to take a look at that. Is it nice and smooth on the edge? Yeah. Yeah. So we we'll, can tell a difference. Yeah, what we've time. done what we've done is we've polished these faces right here and the edge to a to a high polish. And that'll make it easier to draw steel out to create the burr that we need for the card scraper to work. So we're gonna lay the card scraper flat and what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw some steel out from the face over the edge. And I've got some honing solution here and I'm just gonna put it on a paper towel. I'll take my burnisher, which I said is harder than the steel scraper. So lay it flat and then just take this and don't bear down on it. We talked about this before. Just real lightly keep it flat and we're going to draw steel out from the face to the edge. And all it takes is, you know, four or five passes and that's about it. So why don't you give it a try on the other, the other faces, Mike. That's it. Just try to keep it flat and I said all you want to do is draw steel out. If you feel that edge, you can probably feel a little bit of a burr sticking out front. Yeah. yeah. Very little. So let's do the other two sides and then we'll then we'll work on getting a putting a burr on it. Now we've got those edges polished, we're gonna take this block and we're gonna put it back in here. And I'm gonna put it in there and leave maybe about a sixteenth of an inch somewhere between a sixteenth and a thirty-second of an inch okay. on top of that. And we're going to put it in our vise, clamp it down, then we're going to take the, the burnishing tool again, and we're just going to go across the top, same pressure, again, very light, and just go flat across the top, like that. Maybe, I don't know how many times that is, I lost count, doesn't really matter. It really only takes like maybe four to six times. You don't have to beat it back and forth. Now what I want to do is take the, take the burnishing tool, lay it level on this, put a little bit of an angle, and then a little bit of an angle this way, and just draw it across. Very light touch. Four or five times. Now if you, here, put your finger there. Now feel that burr? Yep. Yeah. You can hear it too. Yeah, why don't you give it a try and do this side. So straight, 
down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And yep. Corner. And just pull it towards you. I found it helps too if you drag it. Yep. Okay. Very light touch. That should be enough. Why don't you check to see if there's a burr on there? Feel it? I do. All right. Let's do the other side and we'll give it a test. Put a walnut board here on my, my planing stop. And why don't you give that a try, Mike? And let's see how we did. You just, to use these, you just. Like that? Like that. And press it in the center and move it forward. You have to adjust the angle sometimes a little bit to get that sweet spot where the edge is. There you go. Nice. So this is what we're looking for, is these little curls right here. If you just get sawdust, that means that you don't have the angle right when you're using it, or you didn't draw enough steel out. It, it happens. You've got four edges on there, and when you do this, sometimes you get three good edges, sometimes you get all four edges. It doesn't really matter, but it's not a big deal. But that's, that's real nice. We're going to take a look at this one here. Now, this has a curve to it. It's basically the exact same process. We're just going to put it in our holder here, put it in the vise. We're going to polish this edge, polish the faces, and draw a burr. It's basically the exact same process, except we're dealing with a curve. There's going to come a point in time where you're going to lose this edge and it's not going to cut anymore. You don't have to go through the whole polishing process. You can probably do this three or four times after you do the polishing process. We're just going to take the burnisher and we're just going to draw out steel again. So after we've drawn the steel out, all we need to do is put it back in the holder, I'll put it in the vise, and I'm just going to draw that edge out again. <laughs> 